Hi everybody, my name is David. And my name is Gracie. And we're here to create a video on how to make a Dropbox account. We're going to start by uh, going to Google Chrome as our browser. We're going to go to the Dropbox website. And basically what we're going to do is, this is a Windows 7 machine. Dropbox is multi-platform, so you can install it on pretty much any device. Um, you can install it on your phone if you have a, an Android phone or an iPhone. You can download that from the App Store. And this is basically the Dropbox web page. It's really simple. There's a short little video if you want to understand how it works. You can click that, but uh, we're going to go straight to the download Dropbox on the bottom here. And it should be downloading, so in a couple of seconds, you'll see the little, there you go, you see the little download uh, status bar. And you can see that it's not very big as well, it's only 14 megabytes, 14.3 megabytes. So we'll wait for that to download. And um, so Dropbox is a very simple cloud drive. That's basically how it works. So if you have a, some important information that you want to have with you all the time, you can use Dropbox. And basically you can um, sync it to all your devices. If you have a desktop, you have a laptop, you have your phone. And um, you could use it anywhere. So we're going to wait for it to download. And then we're going to, there it is. And now we're going to install it. So. We'll go click on it. And we're actually creating an account for Gracie because Gracie hasn't uh, had a Dropbox account. She doesn't know how to use it. So this will be a perfect opportunity for her to create an account. And we're going to use some basic features. So we're going to click yes. Alright, so this is the setup installation screen, so we're going to hit install. Dropbox doesn't require any specific, I guess it, it requires some specific information, but not too much information. You just need your name, last name, email address, uh, the password. Um, and then you can start using it. So it's really simple to set up and use. So we just uh, installed it and we're going to wait for it to uh, come up with the next screen. There we go. And so we have two options. Um, for the ones that already have an account, you can just go already have Dropbox account on the bottom and you can just put your email address and your password and then you can just log in. Um, but since we're creating a new account for Gracie, we're going to go with the option one and we're going to hit next. I'm going to have Gracie take over this computer and she's going to fill in her information. Okay, so I've never used Dropbox before. This is my first time. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in what it's asking for. For my last name, I'm just going to put Zach, that will work, um, email, and I'll just make up a short password, and I'll agree to the term. Okay, and there's one, one option on the bottom about the computer name. It's a good idea to name this um, appropriately. So let's say if you're setting this up on your laptop uh, and you have one laptop, you can just put laptop. If you have more than one laptop, maybe you can name the, your laptop so that way you know which computer you're on and which one you're syncing with. So if you have multiple devices, you have your phone, you have your desktop, it's good to have a, a good naming convention so uh, it's easier to identify. Uh, the, the computers or the devices. So we're going to leave that alone and we're just going to hit next.
and here we have a couple of options. Um, we're going to go with the free account, obviously. It's a two gigabyte. It's not that much uh, storage, but uh, it's going to be enough to for us to use uh, for whatever purposes we're going to be using it for for this tutorial. Um, but you see, you have more options. Uh, for 9.99, you can get a 50 gigabyte storage capacity, or you can get a 100 gigabyte capacity for 19.99 a month. So we're going to go with the two gigabytes. Hit next, and then we're going to go with the typical installation. Um, well, you're usually not going to get this error message. Or it's not an error message; it's a warning. I've had um, Dropbox on this computer already, so it's saying that if you want to uh, merge with uh, with your other folders that you already had with the Dropbox. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to choose another location, but this is not really going to relate to you. So I'm just going to create a new folder, call it Dropbox 2, and click OK. And here, it gives you a shorter tutorial. I recommend you, use, you actually go through this, although you're probably going to be able to use Dropbox right after this tutorial. So I'm going to skip this for now, but if you're not too comfortable using it, I would recommend you do the tour. Okay, so skip tour. And we're going to hit finish with the open my Dropbox folder now check mark. And we can actually close this background here. And you see, we already have a folder here. This is our Dropbox folder. Um, and you can see the little Dropbox uh, in your task manager as well. And it's already starting to populate a little bit, but you don't really have to use these if you don't want to. So uh, I'm going to show a little short little demo. Um, we have a folder here. This is my Java projects folder. And I have a project in here. And th the simplest way to do this is just drag and drop. That's actually what makes Dropbox so user-friendly and easy. You just drag it in there. You can double-click on it. Now, one thing I want you to notice, actually, <laughs> um, I kind of missed it. If you notice, there was a little blue little check mark, little um, arrow, circular arrows. That shows that it's being in progress. Like I'm going to drop another one in there just so you can see the little blue. And see right there, that shows that it's in progress. And there it changed to green. That means it's already synced. So you don't have to worry about anything else. And so that's pretty much it. That's how you use it. Now, whenever you want to log in to Dropbox from a computer, let's say a library, um, that you don't want to install, you don't have access to install Dropbox, you can just go to their web page or website. And you can click on the login here on the right corner. And Gracie's going to log in for us. OK, and then we log in. And this is getting started. You don't have to really do this, but you can. We're going to go to Files. and. We're going to go to Project 1. Oops. Uh, click on Project 1. And you can see all our files that we dragged and dropped into that folder is now here. So here you can you can download. Download file, move file, rename. You have all these options. And that concludes our video. I just wanted to say thank you for watching our video. And I hope this really helps. Thanks, everybody. I know it helped me a lot. Great. Have a great rest of the afternoon.